Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing sweater nails with dip powder. I already have my protective layer of clear dip powder on my nails. If you don't know, I leave a clear layer underneath all of my manicures to protect my natural nails from doing designs so often. As you can see, I broke my ring fingernail, so I built it out using dip powder extension method. Click this link right here and it will take you to that tutorial. Let's get started! I'm going to be using Kira Sky Dip Powder in the color Why Not and Nude Swings. I'm also going to be using Car Lashes Dip Base and ASP Gel Activator, Tamika No Wipe Top Coat, UNT Peel Off Base Coat, a matte top coat from a card, a buffing block, and my UV LED lamp. I'm going to start by applying peel off base coat to all of my nails. If you don't know, peel off base coat essentially just allows you to peel off the design that you do over top. In this case, that is dip powder. I've been testing this out a little bit and I'm finding that one thick coat does the job for me. You want to make sure to roll the jars of dip powder before you use them. This allows all the ingredients to be mixed together. I'm going to apply base coat to my entire nail and then immediately dip into the powder. For my pinky, index, and thumbnail, I'm going to be dipping into the red. Look how pretty this is. It has a little bit of shimmer to it but you can't really see it on camera. The only negative side to this dip powder in particular is it is kind of thick for some reason so it doesn't allow you to slide your nail in as easy as other dip powders. Now for my middle two fingers, I'm going to be dipping into the nude color. These two nails are going to be the one with the sweater design. After you do the first layer of dip powder, you want to be sure to wipe away the dust. Now I'm going to be doing another layer of dip powder on all of the nails. This is going to ensure that I have the color that I'm looking for. Once I finish that layer, I'm going to be applying the activator. This is going to make sure that all the layers of dip powder are dry and ready for filing. Now I'm going to be taking a 100-180 grit hand file and shaping my nail. I'm doing a square shape for this design. Once you shape the edges of your nail, you're going to take the same hand file and smooth over the surface of your nail. With this step, you want to make sure to file your nails as smooth as you can get them. This is because matte top coat shows every single imperfection. Because matte top coat shows every little imperfection, I'm then going to go over my nails with a buffing block to ensure that I do not have any lumps or bumps. 
Once I finish with the buffing, I'm then going to apply the matte top coat. Something that I learned with matte top coat is you want to make sure to apply a medium to thick layer. This is because if you apply thin layers of matte top coat, you're more likely to get streaking, which does not look good on matte nails. After I apply the top coat, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Look how pretty these nails are. Now I'm going to be taking a fine detailing brush and I'm going to dip it into my no wipe top coat. I would not suggest dipping directly into the bottle as this can contaminate your top coat. I'm going to be taking the top coat and drawing a thin line on the sides of my nail. Wherever you apply the top coat is where the dip powder will stick. So you want to be very precise in getting the top coat exactly where you want it. After I do the two lines, then in the center of those lines, I'm going to make like a S shape. This will make it look like a cable knitted sweater. Then I'm going to make small strokes going up towards my cuticle on the sides. Here's the trick, before you cure your nail, you want to pour some dip powder over the design. Like I said, wherever you put the top coat, that is where the dip powder is going to stick. Before you dust off any of the excess powder, you want to cure your nail for the full 60 seconds. After it's cured, then you can go in with your brush and take away the dust. And that's your design. I'm going to go ahead and do the same design to my ring finger. You can do different types of sweater nails, but I really like how this design looks. I'm going to be honest with you, this design looks so much better when you apply a second layer on top of the design that you just did. Now I'm going to be taking some white striping tape and applying it to my index and my pinky nail. I'm going to take this and apply it vertically to the side of my nail. Striping tape is a little bit tricky to work with, but don't worry, practice makes perfect. After I get it how I like, I'm going to apply another piece of tape parallel to the first piece. I want to leave a little bit of a gap, but not too much. Then I'm going to take another piece of tape and apply it horizontally at the tip of my nail. Then I'm going to be applying another piece of tape parallel with this one. This is supposed to be like a wrapped present. I'm going to be doing the same thing to my pinky nail except I'm going to flip the design. Look at these guys, Whew, they're so pretty. But we're not done yet. I'm going to apply the same matte top coat to my index and pinky nail to make sure that the striping tape does not peel off easily. Cure for 60 seconds and we're all done. Make sure to smash the like button if you've made it this far. Leave a comment down below of what you think of this design or if you have suggestions for future nail art. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be alerted when I post new videos. See you guys next week. Bye!